friend. It is me, Charles Chatonnet, the painter. <laughs> okay. What are you dressed up like that for? Oh, I am a wanted man, persecuted for my art. Uh, <laughs> that is it is. <laughs> I don't think art is the problem. In Paris, they say leave. Go far away. We will never understand you here. I say, I go to Saint-Denis. They say that is not far enough. <laughs> it seems to me that they were right. But it doesn't matter. Now, I go to South Pacific. They always tell me the light there is perfect for my work. Yeah, so long as they weren't just telling you that to get you to the other side of the world. Perhaps. It doesn't matter. Help me get to the next ship. They are watching the port, and I need a chaperone. <sighs> okay. Come on. Oh. I'll tell you what I want, miss. Civilization! So repressive! So stifling! I can hardly breathe in this city! Yeah, I kind of know what you mean. Why I thought I would find my way in a country founded by Puritans, I'll never know. I know those men. Oh, I shot on that bar. Quick, behind here. Keep up, keep up. We go, we go. Those fellas! You shed on their bar? But of course! I needed to shit! Hey, come on! My fresh excrement was better than any of the drinks they served in there! Ah, remind me to avoid that place. Back, back. See money lenders. We go another way. We go through here. What's this? <gasps> Quickly! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <gasps> it's nothing. Oh. I thought I knew him. <sighs> Please do not do that again. <sighs> now get moving. Oh. Come on. Good morning to you. So wait. You ain't sold none of your work? There is always a heavy demand for fresh mediocrity, but no kinds of brilliance. Not so much. And new kinds of TV? The holy nefers. We go through there. Bonjour, monsieur. Where are you going, pretty lady? Anywhere you want, mon ami. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> this way, to the end of the docks. I was going to buy the red ones to bring out the colors in your cheeks, but then I thought the blue. Hush, Kate! Okay. I may know these people. But maybe something gayer. A purple, perhaps? We are in Saint Denis, after all. What are you looking at? Bar shitting, money borrowing, wife stealing. You sure got a way of ingratiating yourself with people. If the purpose of life was to be liked, it would be very boring indeed. I've developed a feeling the purpose ain't to be hated. Hate, love, they are the same. I provoke, I challenge, I amuse, do I not? Who's my impropriety? A mediocre life is meaningless. A bold life filled with art and truth, dirty truth, that is something that matters. Hello, boys. Come on. Sailors know who they're bunking with. We have many weeks together. We will get to know each other well. Good luck to all of you. Relax. Hey, up here. She is my ship. To all of you. Relax. Hey, up here. She is my ship.
Let's go. Oh, no, no, no. I got him. He's out here. This ship's leaving soon. Ah, merci, merci. All aboard for the South Pacific. Adieu. Merci, mon ami. So long. If they don't like you in the islands, keep on going to the South Pole. Ah, yes. I hear there the light is really fantastic. Ah, au revoir. You go. Can't you see I'm tracking gig in here? Yep, she's laying a good trail. Hamish! John! Well, come in! You said we might go fishing. <laughs> Don't take much persuading to get me to go fishing. Let's go to my boat. Sure. Here she is. You mind rowing? Sure. What are we fishing for? <laughs> Only one thing worth catching in this lake. <laughs> the great tyrant. Mean as hell, Northern Pike. Eats everything else that spawns around here, its own kind included. Is that our bait then? A, a jack or something? Hell no. He's a clever old bastard. I made these. This one's mine. You're gonna have the spare. Oh, they're pretty. You don't know the half of it. Come on, let's push off. I'll show you where we're rowing to.
take us over there to the right. We'll set up 10 yards or so offshore. He don't keep far away from me, the tyrant. Wants me to know whose lake it is. Oh, we'll show him who's boss. Ha <laughs> ha. The optimism of youth. Right here. We'll cast off towards the island. Okay. You got that lure I gave you? Get her out. I spent years working on that. Finding the right combination of feathers, twine, and glimmer. Making them, losing them, getting them right. I tried coins, shell casings, even a metal. Finally found something he seems to like. And now I hear you can buy him in a shop. Wouldn't be quite so satisfying getting him with something shop bought. Easy for you to say. <laughs> but maybe I'm inclined to agree. Got something? Ah, I got something all right. <laughs> hey, you need. Come on now, Byron, I got you. I got you. Come on. Ah, ah went all slack. Went all slack. Come back. No, oh, it's a drop back. <laughs> Hamish! Hamish! Stay there! I'll row out to you! Row quick! Bastard just bumped me! Okay. You lost anything? It's just my rod. We got my toes too. They weren't wooden. If you want another go, Adam, I still got my lure. Nah. He's your fish now. Cast away. We'll come at him from the other way. Row over there. When he bumped me, I had to check twice. Thought I'd find a chunk of me missing. Man, he can bike. That would be a first. I'm not so sure. Okay, right here. Our hopes of catching this bastard lie with you. Cast back to where we were, and make sure to use that lure I gave you. Just a bit faster now. That him? I think I hooked him. Real. Let's land the bastard. He's gone. That tyrant's a clever one. Let's try again. I think we found him. Cast again. You can speed that up a little. Ah, you lost him. 
Let's try again. I'm sorry. <laughs> what are you sorry for? You caught him! Let's row back. Pass me the tyrant. That is if you're sure you don't want him. <laughs> I ain't gonna poach from your pond. <sighs> well, I'll give him his honors then. He sure was something, huh? Yeah. <laughs> he was. Thanks for taking me out. I appreciate the company. <sighs> That's one hell of a fish. Ain't he something? So long. Hey, you ever want to go out hunting? You stop by again. I may. Me? The pox? Uh. Hands up! <laughs> you trying to rob a sick man? I was trying to help. Bullshit, you what? Listen. You move and I'll shoot you. God damn hillbilly bastards. in turn and leave you just a puddle on the floor. Professor, I ain't come to rob you. It's me. I helped you at the pond. You did? Oh, you did. <laughs> it's the buffoon. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I hope I'm not disturbing you. 
Of course you are disturbing me, buddy. I almost solved biggest problem, and you mess it up! I did? No, but I did. I can't get the bloody conductor straight. Well, well it, it is uh, the geometry of life. The grand theory of uh, power. It's the grand theory of theories. <laughs> there is just one more big problem. <laughs> Maybe I solve it, but I can't get it right. I don't understand. Of course you don't. Help me adjust these things, and I will show you what I mean. Here, take these. Okay, but uh, I'm not much of a scientist. Yeah, well, you are an American. <laughs> Science is far beyond you, but you make a, a fine buffoon. Go. You have the detector in your hand. The filament flashes when it points at the location for conductors. Follow flashes up in hills and land conductor rods where filament goes solid. With all three conductors in place, lightning strikes the rod. And we harness power of nature to make light.
I'd ever gone to school and had a clue of what was going on. What now? Well, now I become the second creature after God himself to bring life to this earth. Like this! I'm missing something. Ah, oh, uh, the switches. The bloody switches. Okay. And uh, climb up there and adjust them for me. Go quick, please. Are you ready? Sure. Second time lucky, huh? Second time? <laughs> More like 7,000th. This is my life's work. It is incredible. Watch. Creation's second birth. <laughs> I just saw a machine waddle a few steps. I have a son. I am the luckiest man alive. I, those morons, they doubted me. I'll see you later. Yes, yes. Goodbye. 